Well, you couldn't have been happier with that return, Blake. No, definitely not. Um, great, great start to her, her preparation. Obviously, she's, you know, set for the championships at Randwick, and um, reason why I'm here. And uh, it's great for everyone involved. And yeah, let's hope we can get it, get her there for, for the big, for the big race at Randwick. Drew out, and you, uh, you just let her find her feet. And once she settled over, uh, you come to the corner and pulled her out. You knew that you, you looked like you were swinging on her. <laughs> That's correct. Look, she jumped beautifully, and I just let the race unfold early. I was able to blend into a lovely position for a while with cover, and um, I always felt I had the race you know, in control from about the 700. So I know she's got a devastating sprint when I let her go, so I just held her together, and um, she was lethal when, when she quickened and uh, one with a fair bit in hand and she's going to take good improvement and um, it's exciting for her going forward. You can feel the improvement and the strength from the last prep to this prep? I can and what I can sense is uh, her mannerism as well. She's you know, a lot more content in her mind, she's very relaxed and uh, it's full credit to Greg Bennett and, and his team. Well the grand final's still a few weeks away but you've got something really to look forward to as do the connections. Definitely and it's not just for me as a jockey but it's everyone involved, the owners, like I said before, they're, they're good friends of mine and it's great to be part of, part of the ride. Best of luck going forward with her. Thank you.